All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am live for the first time in probably what feels like eons, but ladies and gentlemen, it is finally here, the first ever revamped, redone, and renamed brand of wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no more Thriller NXT, but I am carrying over some of the rivalries and some of the events that have happened on Thriller NXT to this brand new show called TCW Wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, what does that stand for? Simply Thriller Championship Wrestling. And tonight I bring you the first episode of action. So without further ado, I'm going to give a little bit of, I'm going to wait just a few minutes and see if anybody joins. Because I am live right now on Twitch, so ladies and gentlemen, bear with me. It's been a while since I've done this. I'm excited, and if you are here live watching this right now, please feel free to talk in the chat, as I will have it on my phone. I will be following along with you, answering as many questions as I can throughout the commentary process and the matches. So if you're all here, and we're all ready to go, Let's get the show under the way, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, Thriller 23 AO Productions brings to you the first episode of TCW Wrestling. Hello, everybody. Thank you for jo joining me here, Colin. And Scott, if you're watching too, thank you. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the brand new TCW Wrestling. We are sold out and live for the first episode since we revamped it from Thriller NXT. We have some exciting matches in store for you tonight. We are live coming from you from Anchorage, Alaska, for TCW Wrestling. And tonight, we are gonna hear from Alistair Black in our first match of the evening. It's tag team action as the tag team champions, Kyle and Mike Morrison, along with their sister, Amy, put the titles on the line against Killian Dane and Eric Young of Sanity with Nikki Cross. Now, don't ask me why the women are on opposite sides. I don't understand that game glitch. We're going to hear from Austin Blaze. Nick Bruiser, who was the Thriller NXT King of the Mountain winner, will go one-on-one -on -one for the first time ever on TCW against Buddy Murphy. We will hear from the big dog, Roman Reigns. Jackson Root takes on Leo Rush and Hideo Itami in triple threat action. We will hear from Drew McIntyre. The Velveteen Dream, for the first time ever, goes one-on-one -on -one with Ricochet. We will hear from the phenomenal AJ Styles. In Fatal 4-Way action, it's Pete Dunne putting his United Kingdom Championship on the line in a Fatal 4-Way elimination match against EC3, the Destroyer, Bobby Lashley, and Andrade Cien Almas. And apparently we're going to hear from Austin Blaze twice tonight. My mistake, guys. I apologize for that. Remember, it's been a while. In one-on-one -on -one action, the Global Championship has been stripped from Austin Blaze and is up for grabs as, for the first time ever, the charismatic enigma Jeff Hardy goes one-on-one -on -one with John Morrison with Ty of Valkyrie. We will hear from the giant, Jeremy Collins. And our main event, ladies and gentlemen, Austin Blaze has also been stripped of your world championship. 
So now it must be defended. And I'm pretty sure Austin's not going to be happy about this. But it looks like former champion Captain Pepsi will go head-to-head -head in triple threat Hell in a Cell action against Elias and Brandon Blaze. So ladies and gentlemen, let's kick this show off with Alistair Black. And ladies and gentlemen, like I said, if you are watching, you can follow me on the chat. I am answering some of your questions. I will be talking to you as much as I can throughout the broadcast. Uh, remember, I do not play these matches or the promos. So uh, it's all computer-based, and what happens, happens. So it makes for some interesting uh, situations. So here we go with Alistair Black. Something told me we might hear from him. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen. Let's listen in as he the one man who claims he's going to turn TCW inside out and fade everyone to black. Making his TCW debut, it's Alistair Black. Let's head to the ring with Alistair. Now I have to say, being the amazing athlete that I am, it's hard walking around backstage. The sideways glances, the awkward glares. See, it appears I have a target on my back. But that's the price I pay for being the most exciting superstar to walk down that aisle since boots got laced. There are moments in your life where you've realized that you need to stand up for what you believe in and rip the stuffing out of the people that are getting in your way. See, I've been a polite and affluent competitor around here long enough. My time to shine is long overdue. I am well aware that every superstar in the back thinks they're the best, but I'm here to tell them that you can be the best while I'm in the WWE, that is unless you want to accept my challenge. Any superstar in the back, I will compete against any and all of you. Ooh, laying down the challenge is Aleister Black. See, I'm tired of everything being the same around here, of the same opportunities being given to the same boring superstars. I've worked hard for everything I've got. And there's no way it's going to be for nothing. I want my shot, and I'm not giving up until I get one. It's nice to hear that you all agree with me, yes. But to be honest, I wasn't sure how you'd all react tonight. But now, I know this is exactly what I need. Together, the TCW Universe and I are waging war on all of the filth here at TCW. Ladies and gentlemen, Alistair Black laying it all on the line, challenging any superstar who is willing to step up to come and get a shot at the former champion, Alistair Black. Next, we have a ship match. We have a team led by a real fan favorite taking on Sanity. Let's get it on. And ladies and gentlemen, since joining back on Thriller NXT, Kyle and Mike Morrison, since winning those titles, have been defeated as champions. Will that change here tonight as they go head to head once again against Eric Young and Killian Dane? But let's not forget, ladies and gentlemen, the two deciding factors that might come into play in this match, and that is Amy and Nikki Cross will be on the outside. Will those two amazing female athletes butt heads, or will there be other consequences for them being here tonight at ringside? It's all going down right here, right now, in our first match on wrestling.
Hmm. And ladies and gentlemen, if you are still here and you're still watching, remember, if you miss any of tonight's action live right now on Twitch, you can always follow me on YouTube, which this will be up once it's over, at youtube.com forward slash thriller 23yo productions brandon pickett so ladies and gentlemen make sure you check it out thriller nxt is no longer no more it is tcw and devolution so let's kick it off with tag team action I do want to apologize, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like I am not able to talk to you guys on the chat. For some reason, it disconnected me from the uh, Twitch chat on my phone. But Nonetheless, I'm just going to continue on with the show and commentate and enjoy this matches with you. Like I said, it's been a while, so there are going to be a slight few technical difficulties. But nonetheless, there they are. The leader, Eric Young, in the front, in the back, the big man, Killian Dane, And on the right... It's the crazy one herself. It's the one and only Nikki Cross. Together they are sanity. Not to be outdone, remember they are missing their fourth member, Alexander Wolf. We're not exactly sure what is up with Alexander as of late. We know that he was signed to TCW Wrestling before tonight but apparently Eric Young told Alexander we don't need you right now for this match stay in the back and uh, well as you can see Alexander's not here let's see how the former tag team champions do tonight as they get another opportunity at gold against Kyle and Mike Morrison Ladies and gentlemen, look at this crowd. They are rocking here in Anchorage, Alaska. They're ready for some great action. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize. I forgot to make the... Oh, uh, difficulties, difficulties, I, I must admit. I forgot to make, make it so when they are a... Uh, tag team with Amy coming out as the manager. I forgot to make the entrance for that, but nonetheless, there are your tag team champions. Kyle in the in the front, Mike on the right, and in the back, their sister, Amy Morrison. The Morrison brothers looking to dominate here once again tonight in tag team action as they put those tag team titles on the line. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, I do apologize that Kyle and Mike Morrison aren't coming out to their uh, their normal entrance, but uh, that's something I will have to fix. I forgot adding Amy Morrison in as the third member that uh, I have to change that, so I will definitely be fixing that in the future. But nonetheless, your champions ready for a fight against Sanity. And just look at the confidence oozing right there from Mike Morrison. And then you got Amy Morrison. And in the middle, the leader, Kyle. This is going to be great, ladies and gentlemen. I can't wait. And there it is. The TCW Tag Team Championships. And yes, I do know that they still say NXT. I'm not going to fix that just yet. I will be working on it. And by weight of 554 pounds, Killian 
Dane and Eric Young. Sanity. There is Sanity. Look at that face of Eric Young. And introducing the champions. And there's your champions. The Morrison brothers feeling very confident here tonight. Remember, they are undefeated since be winning those titles. Let's see if they can keep that streak going here tonight. They have a big task ahead of them against Sanity. And what a way to kick us off, ladies and gentlemen, with tag team championships on the line. Ring the bell. Here we go. And out of the gate, it's Mike Morrison and Killian Dane. Oh, what a neck breaker there by Mike Morrison. Mike now scaling the ropes. Trying to bait Killian Dane in. Killian Dane trying to make it back to his feet. Mike perched high. Oh, misses the axe handle. Killian Dane tried for the running knee and missed. Oh, but caught with an elbow there. What's Killian Dane thinking here? Looking for a power bomb. Oh, and a diving elbow right across the throat. The big man, Killian Dane, taking it right now to Mike Morrison. And if this continues, this could be dire straits here for the champions. Killian Dane, oh, tries, lands on his feet, does Mike. Mike has him by the head. And again, another swinging neckbreaker-like maneuver. And a boot right to the face of Dane. Drops the knee right across the back of the neck. And look at this. We told you they'd become a factor. Nikki Cross distracting Mike Morrison. And from behind, here comes Killian Dane. Oh, but Mike able to reverse it, rolls him up. One, two. No, Killian Dane able to reverse. One, two. Nice set of rolling up over pins there. Now Mike, oh, what a jawbreaker, rocks the big man, Killian Dane. And Killian Dane could be in trouble. And what's Nikki Cross doing here? Throwing a steel chair. There is disqualification in this match. Not sure what Nikki Cross is thinking here. Trying to get in the head of the Morrison brothers. And there's the tag, Eric Young now. Oh, but Mike Morrison, what a shot. Right to the face. Oh, drops his head right on the knee. Uh-oh. Tried for an overhead suplex, but caught there by Eric Young. Nice shots by Young. Now Eric here has Kyle, or I mean Mike, drops him. What a neck breaker there to Mike Morrison. Mike desperately needs to tag in his brother. And he gets the tag. Here comes Kyle. Insanity's Eric Young. Look at this. Just wrenching on that shoulder. The referee smart. Throwing the chair out of the ring. We don't need that in there at this moment. Kyle with the punches. Running clothesline. Wipes out Eric Young, and another. This is not what Sanity wants right now. Kyle Morrison getting fired up. Taking it to Eric Young. Oh, what a super kick. Oh, this is not good. Eric Young trying to find his groove here. Kyle Morrison lifts him up. Pile driver right on the head. This could be it. Eric Young could be out. Hooking the leg. Oh, but there goes Killian Dane. Killian Dane breaking it up. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen, for a little bit of the lag here. 
I think it's because of the logos, but we're gonna bear with it. Maybe I can fix it in the future. Oh, gut buster like maneuver. Knees right to the gut of Eric Young. Morrison. Here he goes. Lifts him up for an Alabama slam. And he got him. Alabama slam. Taking it to Eric Young. Shot right to the face there. Kyle Morrison from behind with the sleeper hold like maneuver. Wraps the legs. Submission locked in. This could be it. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen, still your tag team champions, Kyle and Mike Morrison. Wow, still undefeated as champions, even here in TCW Wrestling. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, what a victory. What a match. Look at this, super kick out of nowhere. Right across the jaw of Eric Young. And we thought this was it right here. Look at this. Pile driver. Rocking Eric Young. But this right here. Kyle Morrison locking in that sleeper hold. Falls to the back. Hooks the leg across the stomach and chest. Wrenches back. And that spelt the end for Sanity here tonight. There they are, still your TCW Tag Team Champions, Kyle and Mike Morrison. The Morrison brothers on a roll to kick us off here on TCW. And you have to believe their sister on the outside, Amy Morrison, is definitely excited to see the brothers bringing home the gold once again. Who's going to stop Kyle and Mike Morrison? Well, up next, ladies and gentlemen, it's the former global champion and world heavyweight champion, Austin Blaze. Now, I'm pretty sure that Austin Blaze is not happy to hear that he was stripped of both of his titles that he won back in Thriller NXT. But, ladies and gentlemen, management has decided some things are going to start anew here in TCW. And, uh, well, apparently it looks like poor Austin Blaze is going to have to start from the bottom and scratch and claw his way to the top here now how will austin blaze respond to that well it looks like we're not gonna wait long to find out as up next we're gonna hear from one half or one third i should say of the blaze family in austin blaze Something told me we might hear from him. Oh, yeah, this is going to be good. Let's listen in as he addresses the WWE Universe. And here he is. This man has to be frustrated, has to be furious with management, knowing that he's no longer global and world heavyweight champions. Austin Blaze, not happy. Since I was a kid, I had a dream to be here in WWE and Thriller NXT. 
Zach Clawden pushed my way to get here, and I did it on my own. I'm not here to make friends. I don't care what it takes. I want my shots. I don't have friends in this business, but it's my choice for the most part. Making friends with other superstars can be difficult when you're like me. A guy who's so dominant and so much in demand, it makes him a target for petty rivalries and animosity. Well, I almost made an exception. See, I'm tired of the comparisons, and I'm tired of the conversations. The time for talking is over. Now, we get right down to the action. So, Captain Pepsi, let's do this. And here comes the former heavyweight champion, Captain Pepsi, who has had some rivalries in the past against Austin Blaze back in Thriller NXT. Well, it looks like we're going to continue some of that rivalry here tonight on the first episode of TCW. Before I say anything else, I have to apologize to the TCW universe. Apologize I let this guy, Austin, ramble on as long as I did. Man, I would have come out here sooner, but I was nodding off back there. Now that I'm out here, let's get down to business. You have a lot of nerve interrupting me, Pepsi, when I was in the middle of giving these fans the proper education that they deserve, or at least desperately need. See, it seems you might need to learn a lesson or two yourself, Captain. Something I'm always more than happy to dish out. Hold up, stop right there. Are you implying, or maybe suggesting, you want a match with me? Please tell me that's what you want. I want to hear it, Austin. Go ahead. Keep them coming, Pepsi. Really. Give me everything you've got. Make the losers out there in the nosebleeds laugh. <laughs> because when I get my hands on you, the TCW universe ain't gonna be there to save you. And we'll see who's laughing then. <laughs> I'll admit that you're an impressive athlete, Blaze. If you weren't, you never would have made it here to TCW or back in Thriller NXT in the first place. However, I can say the same thing about myself since I'm here as well. It looks like the only way to settle things between us is with a match. Whoa, slow down, brother. Who's the one that said you can't always get what you want, hmm? Music ain't my thing, but wrestling is. And boy, you just ain't on my level. It's no disrespect, Captain Pepsi, but I mean, come on! Even the TCW universe is with me on this one. It seems like you want to fight, Blaze, but I'm sensing some apprehension there, too. You better decide what you want, quick, because patience isn't something a lot of superstars have. If you want, I can make up your mind for you, but I don't think you'll like the answer I'll give, Austin. These two button heads. Blaze has had enough of the cheap shot. Microphone to the face of Captain Pepsi. Austin Blaze. Letting that ego and his anger get the best of him here. Look at this, these two now. We knew this was going to happen. Austin Blaze. No, Captain Pepsi. What in the world is he doing here? Has him up. Oh, flatliner. Or flapjack, sorry. My bad, guys. Oh, tried for a shot there. Austin blocked. Oh! Oh, bro kick right to the face. Now Irish Whip goes Pepsi. Oh, tried for another. Ducked. Missed the drop kick. Did Captain. Look at this, Captain Pepsi, though. Inverted DDT. Again, Captain Pepsi tries for another shot. Blocked and missed. Oh, code breaker right to the face of Captain Pepsi. Ooh, hits the clothesline. And ladies and gentlemen, the officials in the ring trying to separate Austin Blaze and Captain Pepsi, but Austin Blaze wants another piece of Pepsi. 
We're going to restore order here, ladies and gentlemen. Things are getting heated up here in the first episode of TCW. This rivalry started back in Thriller NXT and is carried over. We got one-on-one -on -one action coming your way next. We have a real fan favorite taking on some tough competition. Well, up next, ladies and gentlemen, back in Thriller NXT, that man on your left, Nick Bruiser, won the first ever King of the Mountain Rumble match. That means, and what that entails, is that any time and at any given point that Nick Bruiser wants to cash in that King of the Mountain briefcase and get a shot at title that he thinks he deserves or wants, he can do so. So, ladies and gentlemen, Nick Bruiser, for the first time ever, will go one-on-one -on -one next against Buddy Murphy. And Buddy Murphy has to be shaken in his boots as Nick Bruiser is going to live up to the name that we've given him, and that is the Bruiser win from Pete Dunne, ladies and gentlemen. Pete Dunne is a great athlete, and we will see him here soon tonight on TCW Wrestling. But right now, the Bruiser weight, Nick Bruiser, your King of the Mountain Rumble Match winner, goes one-on-one -on -one with Buddy Murphy. Thank you for watching and tuning in. I appreciate all of you. I am glad to be back on Thriller 23YO Productions. It's been a long time coming, and I know a lot of you have been waiting, but I'm here. I'm back, and I'm better than ever, and we're going to roll on with more great wrestling action. And here he comes. The Bruiser way. Nick Bruiser. Oh, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Sporting a new attire, a new look for Nick Bruiser here in TCW. Wanting to reinvent himself. I can't think of a better match to kick them out An established dominance. The King of the Mountain Rumble winner. This will be a tough Nick Bruiser. Looks like he's ready to do some beatdowns and fight here tonight. Go a long way in determining the pecking order here in WWE. Yeah, and he's hoping his stock continues to rise. I am definitely excited to see what Nick Bruiser is going to bring to us tonight here against Buddy Murphy. Just look at the size of this man. I would not want to be Buddy Murphy here tonight. I almost wonder if Buddy Murphy's even going to show up tonight. Oh. I spoke too soon. Here he comes. All the way from Melbourne, Australia. Well, it looks like he's ready. It doesn't really look like Buddy Murphy's afraid as he's making his way down to the ring. Looks like he's set and ready to go. But I still believe a in the back of his mind, Buddy Murphy is not going to want to step in that ring with Nick Bruiser. And his opponent. But we all heard Buddy Murphy talking smack back in the locker room and backstage to anybody and everybody who would listen that he wanted a match. Didn't matter who it was, when it was, or how it happened, but he wanted a match on the first episode of TCW. And well, he's getting what he wanted. I'm pretty sure it wasn't Nick Bruiser who he had in mind. He definitely has his work cut out for him here tonight. Yeah, this was not going to be easy, that's for sure. But hey, is anything worth doing ever easy? All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Here you see the Bruiser wait, and there's Buddy Murphy. 
Referee signals for the bell, and here we go! Look at this! Bam! Like an army tank, just crushing right through Buddy Murphy. Oh, and a shot right to the face. Oh, and Buddy Murphy, look at this! Fireman's carry reversal there on Nick Bruiser. Oh, but look, Nick Bruiser had the same idea on his mind. Irish whip into the ropes. Oh, nice clothesline. Takes Nick Bruiser out on his feet, out to the outside. Uh-oh, caught there. Oh, no, able to reverse. Shots to the face. Buddy Murphy actually showing some great offense. Oh, spying first. Buddy Murphy spearing Nick Bruiser into the side of the ring there. Off the apron. Referee at a count of four now. Buddy Murphy. Oh, head first goes Nick Bruiser off the apron. Nick Bruiser, though, shoves him away. Referee at a count of six now. These two better get back in the ring. Oh, and look at the strength and power of Nick Bruiser. Tossing him around like yesterday's garbage. Now back into the ring. Both superstars looking to take control. Okay, here's Buddy Murphy. Neck breaker to Nick Bruiser. And I'll be the first one to admit, if Buddy Murphy can pull off this upset victory here tonight, what will that do for the psyche and the mind of Nick Bruiser? Knowing that he is the King of the Mountain champion. Or, I mean, King of the Mountain Rumble winner. I mean, what would go through the mind of poor Nick Bruiser if he lost to somebody like Buddy Murphy here tonight. Well, maybe Nick Bruiser heard me. It looks like he uh, getting a little fired up here. Irish whip goes Buddy Murphy. Oh, what a clothesline. Wow, almost taking off the head of Buddy Murphy here. Nick Bruiser, what's he thinking here? No, reversal. Face first goes Nick Bruiser. Buddy Murphy stopping right on the arm. Nick Bruiser actually could be in trouble here tonight. He doesn't get his head back in the game. Apparently Nick Bruiser must have thought that Buddy Murphy was going to be an easy target, but... Uh, Apparently that's not so. Usually Nick Bruiser is doing really great. Irish whip goes Buddy Murphy into the turnbuckle. Uh-oh. Nick Bruiser thinking damage here. This is not going to be good. I do not want to see Buddy Murphy right now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Look at the way that Buddy Murphy just bounced off that mat after the impact. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. I agree, this is awesome, fans. I have never... But look at this, Buddy Murphy acting like nothing happened. Just throws Nick Bruiser back into the ring. And how in the world is Buddy Murphy even on his feet after that hellacious superplex from the top rope to the outside? Now, what's Nick Bruiser thinking? No, able to reverse there is Buddy Murphy. Buddy Murphy. Oh, shoved away there by Nick Bruiser. And Nick Bruiser, I think, has had enough and getting frustrated. And I don't blame him. Oh, and he speared him. He just about split him in half. Nick Bruiser now hooks the leg. One, two, three. That's it. Wow. Nick Bruiser with that hellacious spear out of nowhere wiping out Buddy Murphy and there he is your King of the Mountain Rumble winner and it looks like we're gonna see a little bit of sportsmanship between these two that's always good to see these two took it to each other and Buddy Murphy accepting defeat giving praise to the King of the Mountain Great, great, great match. Up next, he might not be everybody's favorite superstar, and I understand that, but up next, we're going to hear from the big dog, 
Roman Reigns. I hope everybody is enjoying and loving this episode as much as I am so far. We're two matches in. We got five more matches to go. What's going to happen? I don't know. But nonetheless, TCW is going to roll on as we're going to get set and locked and loaded and ready to hear from Roman the Big Dog Reigns. We thought we might hear from him tonight. By the looks of it, he is not messing around here. And there he is, TCW fans. The Big Dog making his debut here in TCW Wrestling. Doesn't look happy, does Roman Reigns, but uh, looks like we're going to hear from the Big Dog. There's a lot that's been building up for a long time now. And it's time to get it all out in the open. See, I put myself out there for all of you every single night. And I've done it with a smile. But it's time for me to start looking out for number one. And at the end of the day, you can give everything you've got to this business and to the fans. But when it all comes down to it, you've got to answer to yourself. And right now, that's what I'm trying to do. I've got to handle some business here before it gets out of hand. It might not be pleasant, and it definitely won't be easy. But I'm going to do me. So what's it going to take, huh? What do I have to do? Tricks or something to get a title shot around here? Jump through hoops? Do a dance? Well, whatever it is, mark my words, I'm going to get a shot at one of those titles. And when I get that shot, I'm going to take it and not look back. This is my yard. And every time I step in this ring, I do... So, representing each and every one of you out there who buy a ticket to see what we do. And with your continued support, I'll continue fighting for you and taking all challenges. A little contradicting there, aren't you? A little bit, Roman Reigns? See, I've got the whole TCW universe behind me and nothing but opportunity in front of me. Roman Reigns, ladies and gentlemen, doing what only the big dog can do. Staking claim that he wants a title shot here at TCW as well. Well, that remains to be seen, but uh, we'll see what management has to say about that, shall we? Like to call the wait. And your hey, light heavyweight champion, Jackson Ruth, not putting the title on the line tonight. Not exactly sure what is up with that, but nonetheless, he's going up against two great top contenders here in TCW in Hideo Itami and Leo Rush. So, ladies and gentlemen, up next, we have triple threat action as Leo Rush will take on Hideo Itami and the light heavyweight champion, Jackson Ruth. Stay tuned. This is going to be some great high-flying, in-your-face action. And ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, like I've said, even though this is on Twitch, it will be on YouTube, on my channel, and again, that is Thriller23YO Productions, Brandon Pickett. Please head over and subscribe now, and when this is up, please go back, rewatch if you like, hit the like button, leave a comment in the comment section. And uh, share this video. Tell your friends. You know, I'm back. And I'm, we are better than ever. TCW is here to stay. And very, very soon, Devolution will be back with episode 13. With great all-women's action. So you don't want to miss that. We have new stars. Some stars that have exited. Ladies and gentlemen, rivalries are getting hotter and better. Let's go to the ring with more. TCW action.
And here it comes, ladies and gentlemen, what I would consider a top contender for that light heavyweight championship in Hideo Itami. And Hideo looking to move one step closer towards that championship here tonight. And can he do it by knocking off another contender in Leo Rush and, of course, your champion, Jackson Ruth? And there he is, Leo Rush is here once again but this time in TCW Wrestling and his opponents first from Baltimore Maryland weighing in at 164 pounds Lee Guys, this sold-out arena is buzzing right now in anticipation of this triple threat match. Yeah, and I'm willing to bet the concession stands are on empty right now. Nobody wants to miss even a second of this match. And remember, when he gets on a roll, he's nearly impossible to stop. You are absolutely right, Cole. So I would expect to see his opposition do everything possible to prevent momentum from swinging. And here comes your champion. Who we've been told decided to leave the title in the back is, uh, in his words, he didn't want to uh, make the contenders, you know, too hungry for that title. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, there is your light heavyweight champion here in TCW, the ruthless one, the leader of the ruthless club. Jackson Ruth. Especially when a two -on -one attack takes place. And this man just oozes confidence. And of course, you know, I would be too, knowing that I am undefeated since becoming light heavyweight champion. Nobody, and I mean nobody, has been able to stop Jackson Ruth. Will that all change here tonight? In this great triple threat match. I can't wait to kick this thing off and get it started. And here we go. Triple threat, light heavyweight action coming your way. Look at this, Leo Rush. Has him up, rolling senton on Hideo Itami. Now trying to take it to the champion. Oh, what a combination. Thrown over the top ropes is Leo Rush by Ruth. Shot to the jaw there. Down goes Ruth to the outside. Hideo Itami though. Oh, nice clothesline. Takes out Ruth. Hideo tried for the kick. Caught there by Ruth. Dragon screw there. Taking him down with the leg. Misses with the kick. Irish whip into the ropes goes Hideo. Collision there. Oh, what a kick. And another. This time, Ruth caught back into the ring now. Here comes Leo Rush. What's going to happen here? Oh, power bomb! Jackson Ruth with a power bomb to Hideo Itami. Misses the clothesline there by Rush. Now, Rush trying to scoop slam from behind. Shot to the back of the knee. This time, Hurricane Rana by Leo Rush. Oh, what a kick to the gut of Hideo. Oh, and he plants him. Face first goes Hideo with Tommy, and Hideo trying to roll out of the way and catch his breath. Neck breaker there by Bruce. Now Hideo. Oh, caught there by Jackson Ruth. And again, tried for the kick and missed. Hideo Itami now lifts him up. 
power bomb. Sit out. Power bomb there by Hideo Itami. Hideo Itami head into the second row. Tried for the splash. Missed there by Hideo. Rush back into the ring now. Oh, nice double team like maneuver there. Leo Rush with the drop kick to Hideo Itami. And again, Rush with the double drop kick. Connected, but didn't get all of it. Now Leo Rush taking it to Hideo Itami. Hideo Itami. Nice back suplex. Or side suplex, I guess. Hideo Itami says no, but oh, what a maneuver there by Jackson Ruth. Catches Hideo Hideo on the outside now. In trouble. Jackson Ruth begging for Leo Rush to get back to his feet. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Hip attack there, right into the corner. To the top rope goes Jackson Ruth looking to fly. Tries for the shooting star press and nothing but Matt there for your champion, Jackson Ruth. Jackson Ruth has him up. No, caught there. Leo Rush takes him down with the inverted DDT. Looks like he's hit up. Hideo and Leo Rush double teaming the champion. And this is smart strategy. Look at this. The kick. Bam! Super kick combination there. Taking it to, to Jackson Rue. Dragon screw there. Remember, it's every man for himself in these triple threat matches. And Hideo Tommy just showed us why. You can't have friends in a match like this. Now Leo Rush with the back suplex on Tadeo Itami. Jackson Ruth catches him, tries to slam him again, but again Leo Rush taking it to the champion. Will this be the... Oh, what a maneuver, turning it inside out, Leo Rush, wow. Oh, and Ruth stays alive. I thought that would have been it. The undefeated streak of Jackson Ruth could have ended there. Now Hideo Itami back in. Hideo Itami, Irish whipping Ruth into the turnbuckle. Oh, that last shot there by Ruth might have busted Hideo open, though. Referee's going to want to check. And yes, Hideo Itami bleeding from the top of the head. That elbow caught there by Jackson Ruth busted open Hideo Itami. And oh, the exploder suplex right into the turnbuckles. And Rush and Hideo Itami going at it in the ring. Look at this combination. Strikes and kicks there. Hideo Itami with these kicks just taking it to Leo Rush Jackson Ruth now look at this Price for the pin does Hideo Jackson Ruth able to break it up what are we going to see here Hideo Tommy double underhook no able to reverse nice reversal there by Ruth now Ruth taking it to Rush tried for the pin only gets a one Allowing Rush too much time to catch his breath and get back in it. Rush able to escape the attack by Jackson Ruth. Now Rush, oh, belly to belly suplex. Hooks the leg, center of the ring. One, two, and a kick out at two by Rush. I thought that was it. Dale Tommy now. 
What's he doing here? Oh, this is not going to be good. Running knee. Back between the ropes. Oh, but look at this. Jackson Root trying to take advantage and Hideo with Tommy breaking it up. And now it's Hideo and Root battling back and forth to see who's going to get the pin on Rush. When they should be focused on trying to take each other out first. Knee to the gut there of Hideo with Tommy by Root. Jackson Root taken out. Out to the outside. Hideo with Tommy. Look at this. Hideo. No. Kick out at one by Root. He needs to change something fast, guys. What a great light heavyweight division match we have for you here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Springboard. Frog splash right across the back of Leo Rush. Now Leo Rush. Arm breaker on Hideo with Tommy. Sidesteps him there. Caught with the kick. Turns him inside out. despite absorbing a huge amount of punishment there. You know, it didn't happen often, but I can attest, being pinned is humiliating. The crowd here tonight certainly seemed to appreciate the efforts. What a great match. Looks like he's going to grace us with his presence once more. And here it comes. This crowd obviously wants to know what's going on. I had a feeling we would start this way. By the looks of it, he is not messing around here. Let's listen and see.
Is that supposed to make sense? I'm glad I'm not the only one who's confused. We all know the WWE Universe has been known to go for blood from time to time, and tonight, just one of those nights. Next match, entertain us. The match is going to be awesome. Stay where you are. We have a real fan favorite versus a formidable opponent. Let's do it. Making his way to the ring from Annapolis, Maryland, weighing in at 227 pounds, Valentine the Dream. Guys, we have two of WWE's most exciting superstars ready to square off here. And there's nothing quite like seeing two superstars settling it in the ring in one-on-one -on -one action, Michael. What about you, Byron? He obviously looks good physically. But do you think he's mentally prepared for tonight's match? If he's not, we're going to find out very early on. Guys have a way of smelling intimidation and taking advantage of it. If your head's not at 100%, you're in big trouble. It's that simple. And his opponent, from Kentucky, weighing in at 206 pounds, reaching Shay. Given the participants, this match might very well steal the show, guys. Yeah, and I think you could go so far as to say it has the makings of a match of the year candidate. And Byron, I'd say he appears to be at the top of his game right now. Well, he's going to need to be if he wants to survive this match, that's for sure.
This is great to see. Tremendous sportsmanship. Mutual respect for each other. There's the bell. And here we go. We're all off to the line on this one. But make no mistake about it, we're going to have a winner. Impact the punch. Slammed him with ease. Here he goes. That creates a big opening here. His shoulders are down. Kick out at two and a half. He can withstand a lot more punishment, I can promise you that. He's going for it all. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I do apologize, I am back. I had to take care of a couple things uh, with work, but uh, nonetheless, we're back and look at this Velveteen Dream walking across the back of Ricochet. And ladies and gentlemen, yes, we did see the possible formation of Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre before this match. And remember, before that, we saw Leo Rush knocking off Jackson Ruth. So Jackson Ruth has now finally been defeated. We'll have to see how that plans out. Or pans out, I should say. Right now, it's Velveteen Dream and Ricochet one-on-one. -on -one, and the Dream, right now on the offense, taking it to Ricochet on the outside. Look at this inverted DDT. And Ricochet now. Oh, shoulder tackle. Stomp to the gut. Referee at a count of five. These fans loving what they're seeing from both Ricochet and Velveteen Dream here tonight. He's got it all. He doesn't want to get counted out here. Time's certainly not on his side, Michael. Doesn't show any signs of getting up here, guys. No, he's taking one heck of a beating. Here we go. Now Ricochet hooks the leg on Dream. Dream able to kick out at one. Now what's Ricochet thinking here on the outside of the apron? Looking for the springboard splash! Look at the core strength there of Ricochet. Nasty. Wow, I'm just 
as surprised as you guys are. Ricochet kicking out. Now Velveteen Dream. No. Irish Whip goes the Dream over the top rope. Lands on the apron. Oh! Catches him with the kick. Ricochet in trouble here. Velveteen Dream now. Looking to take advantage. But Ricochet. Great block. Again, Velveteen Dream hooks the head. Uppercut there to Ricochet. Ricochet with the shot of his own. Ricochet lifts him up, plants him. Uh oh, and he's in the drop zone. This is not where Velveteen Dream wants to be. Looking for the 6:30. No, he got him off the shooting star press, and he still kicks out. Ladies and gentlemen, Ricochet again, risking it all. Headed back to the top. Ricochet poised, ready to strike Velveteen Dream. Oh, he misses the double knees. Side stepping Ricochet in midair. Now the Velveteen Dream trying to mount some offense, but Ricochet catches him there with a boot to the face. Ricochet has him up on the shoulders now. Oh, kick right to the side of the jaw. Ricochet has him up. Oh, what a kick. That just rocked the Velveteen Dream. One, two, three. That's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. There's your winner, Ricochet. Look at this great shooting star press. Bam! And look at this, the core strength of Ricochet on display, but take nothing away from the Velveteen Dream. He put up quite a battle against Ricochet. And there you see it again, another shooting star press. Look at this from another angle. Just pure perfection there by Ricochet. And then this was the deciding factor. Bam! There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Ricochet on a roll here in TCW Wrestling. Well, up next, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to hear from the one, the only, the phenomenal AJ Styles. I had a feeling we would start this way. This is gonna get interesting. Here we go, let's find out. Ah. 
I've had enough of people thinking they can push me around. See, I battled, brawled, and bled for everything I've got, and I still don't get the respect I deserve here in TCW. The respect I'm sure as hell earned. Well, that all stops today. See, I come out here night in and night out because I believe that the TCW offers the chances to achieve greatness. To push yourself beyond the limits of what you thought you could do. But some superstars don't see it that way. To them, this is just a bully pulpit from which they push their own sick, twisted agenda. But that all stops again tonight. So I'm not taking it anymore. Not for another day. Not for another hour. Not for another second. I'm done. CM Punk, get out here. We're going to have it out right here, right now. Ladies and gentlemen, the phenomenal one. Calling out, he's here, he's back. Ladies and gentlemen, CM Punk making his return. And right here on the first episode of TCW Wrestling, we're going to see face-to-face -face Punk Styles. Oh, this is going to be good. I know you think you have something important to talk about, AJ, but let me assure you, there is nothing more important in TCW than me. <laughs> if you think you can insult either me or the TCW Universe Punk, then you're grossly underestimating us. We're both better than you give us credit for, and it's because we have confidence in each other. We know that we'll always have each other's backs, and that we're stronger together. You can't harm us. Is this the part where you play to the crowd to try to hype them up and get them on your side? What basic level tripe? You and the TCW Universe deserve each other. Ugh, you're all pathetic. A real superstar is able to stand on their own. They don't need the TCW Universe, or anyone else for that matter. I wasn't always this amazing superstar you all see before you know. It took me a long time to get where I am, to become the phenomenal person I am and to train myself to be the very best. Those first nine years were tough, but when I turned 10, everything just fell into place and it's been a gravy train ever since. I just wanted to come out here tonight and say it to your face that there's nothing you can ever do to me, Styles. You'll never be able to beat me because I've got something in my pocket that you'll never have. Friends in high places. The authority gives me a certain degree of safety to do whatever I want. We can talk in circles all night, punk. I'm sure you'd prefer that. Me? I don't like to talk. I like to bash your skull in. So why don't you give old Papa what he wants and we'll waltz? Or what? You want to run? Because I'll find you. I always do. I can tell you're afraid of me. I can smell your fear, Styles. My nose is very powerful. I can smell your fear from a mile away. I can smell it when I walked up the ramp, and I can smell it standing here in front of you. It's very pungent, like cowardice and, and weakness. It's honestly not worth fighting tonight. I know this isn't a match that people want to see. You're not ready. The TCW Universe deserves us at the top of our game, and that's not tonight. See, I want our clash to be epic. Something for the history books. Not just another webpage entry, but a lasting memory etched in stone. See, I've encountered a number of superstars here in TCW. I face many different types of foes, and if there's anything I can say about you, it's that you're one of them. Nothing really special. You're just another superstar to fight, but I'll continue to show why I'm great, why I'm phenomenal. So next time, we go to war. Well, AJ Styles, CM Punk, face to face, these two want to match against each other, and you have to believe that TCW management definitely wants to see this. I mean, only thing I can see is box office, big ticket match, culminating right here between AJ Styles and CM Punk.
Well, up next, ladies and gentlemen, we will see the United Kingdom Championship on the line in Fatal 4-Way Elimination Match as Pete Dunn defends his United Kingdom Championship against the Destroyer, Bobby Lashley, Andrade Cien Almas, and EC3, who will walk out the United Kingdom Champion here tonight on TCW Wrestling. This is going to get good. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. The United Kingdom Championship Fatal 4-Way Elimination Match is up next. I'll be right back after this. Remember, guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. Without a doubt, a big opportunity for him here tonight, Byron. Yeah, it really is, Michael. And he doesn't seem like the type of guy who's just going to squander. And there is Almas like making this. his in ring debut here tonight on TCW, the former thriller NXT and global champion. Ladies and gentlemen, there comes the destroyer, Bobby Lashley. for the champ to prove to everyone that there truly is none better in all of WWE right now. Well, Byron, this is it. This is the match we've been waiting for. He's worked so hard to get to this point, Michael, and for his sake, I hope he's ready because I assure you, these opportunities don't come around very often. Look at the size of Bobby Lashley. This man definitely living up to the name of Destroyer and looking to do just that here tonight and become the United Kingdom champion. And introducing the challenger from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 246 pounds. Ethan Carter. 
Remember, guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be there the he time is. To hands. The one percenter, EC3, Ethan Carter, the third. The champion here tonight? Not only does he have a chance, Cole, but I'm going to go ahead and say that he will, in fact, defeat the champion tonight. You heard it here first. And there is your United Kingdom champion, ladies and gentlemen, Pete Dunne. The title is on the line in this one, guys. And don't be surprised if history is made here tonight. The Bruiserweight looking to keep his title firmly in his grasp here tonight. If he can walk out, still holding that United Kingdom championship. And as expected, the champ is looking incredibly confident as he prepares to defend his title here. That's one thing you never have to worry about when it comes to the champ. The man simply oozes confidence. And that's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. The United Kingdom Championship on the line. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy this great Fatal 4-Way action, and I will be right back. You can bet there will be no shortage of excitement tonight in this championship match.
you want to be when you're in the ring with these three guys. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. And as you can see right there, EC3 eliminates Andrade Cien Almas. We're down to just these three competitors. Pete Dunne, EC3, and the destroyer Bobby Lashley all trying to get their hands on that United Kingdom title. And Pete Dunne just trying to do his best to stay alive and defend it. Oh, I don't, I'm not sure what happened there, but the way that Pete Dunn fell, I have to believe that there was some damage done to Pete Dunn there. There's the Irish whip there by EC3. Oh, misses with the flying forearm. Got there with the back clothesline by Pete Dunn. Now toss is done. Now look at this, double team action. I would say here from Bobby Lashley in EC3. Bobby Lashley has him up on the shoulders. Running power slam. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Pete Dunn has been eliminated. And we are down to EC3 and Lashley. We are guaranteed to have a new TCW United Kingdom champion. At the end of this match, wow, was not expecting Pete Dunn to go out that way, but nonetheless, Dunn is out, Almas is out, we're down to Lashley and EC3. Oh, super kick by Ethan Carter in the third. EC3, look at this, trying to take it to Lashley, but Lashley catches him with a nice... Uh-oh. This is not good if you're EC3. Lashley has him by the throat. Oh, what a punch. What a punch. Wow. Lashley. Oh, face first across the knee. Punch there to the face of Lashley. EC3 looking for the pin. Does he have him? No. Lashley kicks out at one. EC3 has to be thinking, what is it going to take to keep the Destroyer Lashley down? This might do it. Knockout like punch there by Ethan Carter. EC3 though. Look at this. Oh, punch there by Lashley. Now, Bobby Lashley has him up. Dominator. EC3 drops in with the DDT. Now EC3 has him up on the shoulders. Bobby Lashley. Oh! Spinning cutter. Bobby Lashley could be out. We could have a winner here. EC3 dropping the elbows right across the heart and chest of Bobby Lashley. Uh oh, EC3 firing up here on all cylinders. What's he thinking? Looking for the one percenter. Drops him, spikes him, one percenter by EC3. This could be it. We could have your new UK champion. No, Lashley staying alive. Gets the shoulder up at the last second. Wow. Resiliency of Bobby Lashley. 
Superstars wearing the rules right now of being an absolutely thrilling matchup. It could be over here. There's EC3. Now look at this. With the pin. One. Two. And only a two. EC3 thought he had him. Bobby Lashley now. Irish with an EC3. Into that turnbuckle. EC3 though catches him with the boot. EC3. I thought he was going to go for a maneuver there. Oh, nice takedown by EC3. He's in a tough spot here, Corey. And if he doesn't get up, it's going to get a lot tougher. Dominator! What a dominator there by Bobby Lashley. Lashley with a sidewalk slam. And there he is, your winner and new United Kingdom champion, the Destroyer, Bobby Lashley. Wow, ladies and gentlemen. Bobby Lashley wins his first ever United Kingdom championship here tonight. And the Destroyer running through EC3, Andrade Cien Almas, and the former United Kingdom champion, Pete Dunne. We now have a new crowned United Kingdom champion. And there he is, Bobby Lashley. What a victory. What a win for Bobby Lashley here tonight on the debut episode of TCW Wrestling. Hats off and congratulations to that man right there. Wow. You should be proud. You got that right, partner. Up next, ladies, we will see one-on-one -on -one action for the Global Championship, which is vacant. It has been stripped from the former champion, Austin Blaze, as well as the Heavyweight Championship match that will be up follow. So nonetheless, the Global Championship on the line, and these two are the top contenders here in TCW. It's going to be John Morrison alongside Taya Valkyrie taking on the charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy. Who will walk out of this one-on-one -on -one matchup for the global title? We're going to find out.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be great. We have the Shaman of Sexy, John Morrison, alongside his beautiful girlfriend, Taya Valkyrie, taking on the charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy. And you have to say that these two, hands down, are going to give us one hell of a match here tonight on TCW Wrestling. I, for one, could not wait to see this matchup when I heard it was on the card tonight to kick us off on the first episode of TCW. And here we go. Let's get it on. Global Championship on the line. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it's for the NXT Global Championship. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen, John Morrison. Not to be outdone, accompanied there by Taya Valkyrie, who is a part of the Devolution roster. Well, I apologize for them saying his name backwards as Morrison John, but it is John Morrison. But nonetheless, JoJo just needs a little bit of training, I guess. Here comes his opponent. Ladies and gentlemen, the charismatic enigma here in TCW. It's Jeff Hardy. what it's all about ladies and gentlemen the global championship on the line here in TCW we see John Morrison Jeff Hardy ready to duke it out and here we go this match is underway oh backbreaker side Russian lay sweep what a combo there by John Morrison Nice maneuver there with the bridge into the pin. Kick out there by Hardy. John Morrison right across the nose of Jeff. Ooh, off the second rope. Diving axe handle right across the face of Hardy. Elbow right to the forehead there of Hardy by Morrison. Now Jeff, shoulder tackle. Jeff Hardy, Irish Whips, Morrison. Nice maneuver there by Jeff Hardy. Shot to the face there. From behind, John Morrison sidesteps with the go behind with himself. 
Knee right to the back of Hardy. And look at Morrison. Pandering to the crowd. A little bit of cockiness here. Running clothesline out to the outside. Goes Jeff Hardy. Morrison now on the apron. Hardy could be in trouble here. What's Morrison have in mind? Morrison springboard moonsault. Jeff Hardy, though, stomping away on John Morrison, referee at a count of three. These two athletes battling it out. Hurricane Rana on the ramp. Back first goes Jeff. Now Morrison in control of Hardy at the moment. Oh, referee at a count of six. This might end in a draw, ladies and gentlemen. We might not end up with the global champion. But nonetheless, it looks like Morrison back into the ring now. Hardy's got a long way to go. Referee at a count of eight. Count of nine. Can Hardy make it? And Hardy makes it right before the count of ten. Wow. This match continues. Hardy almost counted out. Morrison can't believe it. Morrison now Irish whipped into the corner. Oh, caught there with the elbow to the jaw. Was Jeff. Now Hardy has him on the ropes. What's he looking for it here? Rolls him up. Here goes Hardy. One, two. The concerned expression on Ty's face. Morrison kicking out at two. Jeff Hardy now scaling the ropes. Possibly looking to fly. Oh, a shot there to the jaw. Jeff Hardy now. Nice overhead German suplex by Jeff Hardy. Morrison could be in trouble here. Jeff Hardy with the kick. Oh, he reversed it. Jeff looking for the twist of fate. Morrison able to reverse into the bridging pin. And again, nice maneuver by John Morrison. These two really want their hands. Oh! Turning him inside out. Wow. John Morrison with a great offense there. And Hardy again, just barely getting the shoulder up off the floor. Or off the mat, I should say. Kicking out at two and a half. Hardy saw his life left in and Morrison can't believe it. What is it going to take to get down the charismatic enigma? Oh, what a slap to the face of Hardy. Uh-oh. Morrison, bad intentions for Jeff Hardy here. Looking for the superplex out to the outside. My goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, did you see that? The height that Hardy got. John Morrison and Hardy laying it out on the line here. And look at this, Hardy now. Irish women Morrison. And how in the living daylights is Hardy still standing? Shot to the back of the knee. Hardy now. Oh, atomic drop. Jeff's got to be careful. Ty Valkyrie there on the outside. Irish whip, there goes Hardy back into the ring. Morrison back in now. 
Hardy, though. Irish whips Morrison into the corner. Now Hardy. Oh. Thought Hardy was going for something there. Morrison. Hurricane Rana there by John Morrison. Stomp to the face. Hardy could be in trouble here. And a knee right to the jaw. Oh, great standing corkscrew moonsault there by John Morrison. Oh, that had to hurt. Stomping on the arm of Hardy. Now John Morrison. No, Hardy lands on his feet. Catches him. Nice neck breaker there by Hardy. Jeff Hardy with the kick. Setting him up. Twist of fate. The twist of fate by Jeff Hardy. What's Hardy thinking here? Atomic drop. Are we going to see it? Are we going to see the Swanton Bomb? Morrison in the drop zone. Oh, and he missed with the Swanton Bomb. Jeff Hardy thinking Swanton. Morrison just able to roll out of the way. Morrison and Hardy going at it here. Oh, nice Spanish fly there by John Morrison. Jackson Jaw does Hardy though. What's Hardy thinking here? DDT plants John Morrison. And Hardy getting fired up here. What's Hardy thinking? Another jawbreaker there by Jeff Hardy. These two back and forth, great one on one action here, all for that global championship. Hardy looking for that twist of fate once again. This time goes for the cover, hooks the leg. One, two. No, what the hell is going on here? Taya Valkyrie interfering in the match, pulling the referee out of the ring. Breaking up the pinfall, and there's Morrison taking advantage of the distraction by Taya. John Morrison now. Oh, face first goes Hardy. You have to say that if it wasn't for Taya pulling out the referee, then this match could have been over. Corkscrew moonsault. Oh, but Hardy knees. Her feet right to the face. Hardy now. What's Hardy thinking? Hardy go scaling the ropes, head to the top rope. Morrison could be in trouble here. No, Hardy having second thoughts. Possibly thinking Swanton there, but couldn't connect with Morrison trying to get to his feet. Clothesline, down goes Morrison. Hardy in control. Oh, caught with an elbow there by John. Backbreaker into the neck breaker. What a combination by John Morrison. Hooks the leg. We can have a new global champion. Oh, but look at this. Hardy. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Hardy grabbed the bottom ropes. I don't know if I was the only one that seen that, but John Morrison stealing the victory right from underneath. Jeff Hardy. Ladies and gentlemen, definitely some controversy here between Morrison and Hardy. The referee had no idea that Jeff Hardy. And look at this. We thought this was it. Twist of fate. And then we thought this was it right here. Setting him up for the swanton. But look at this. In midair, Morrison rolled out of the way. Hardy landing hard on the mat. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, our new global champion is none other than John Morrison. 
eking out a win. That's a big win right there. Anytime you can and if, another WWE I'm WWE sorry, but management, and I agree with the fans here in attendance here in Anchorage, Alaska, that was not the way they wanted this to go down. John Morrison stealing that victory right from underneath Jeff Hardy here tonight. But nonetheless, we have a new champion. Hats off to John Morrison. Well, up next, we're going to hear from one man, the seven foot two giant, Jeremy Collins, is here in TCW Wrestling. What is on the giant's mind? Well, we're not going to wait long to find out. He will join us live here in the arena on TCW. Stay tuned. He really loves that mic. Oh, this should be good. Let's see what he has to say. Not making any friends, but I'm not really concerned about it either. If that's the best he got, really, you can't do any better than that. What? No clever chance? Hmm. Jeremy Collins a little cocky here tonight. So many hush whispers lately whenever I walk by. I get it. That's all I ever hear. Whisper, whisper, whisper. That guy's got beef. Want to hear a story about that guy? Whisper, whisper, whisper. Well, I like to make sure I'm heard. So if there's someone in the back that's got a freaking problem with me I want them to come down and face me like a man so Brock Lesnar if you're feeling froggy why don't you come out here and jump boy oh man Jeremy Collins calling out the beast not sure how wise this is for Jeremy Collins but if there's any man in my opinion on the TCW roster that could hold a candle to the lights of Brock Lesnar. It's that guy right there. The seven foot two behemoth known as Jeremy Collins. Hey, I was perfectly happy sitting back there in my dressing room with everyone waiting on me, but I was so amused with what you were saying that I thought it might be fun to come out here and it's not going to be more fun handing him his teeth. You dare come out here and interrupt me, Lesnar, you insignificant little punk? Now who the hell do you think you are? You had better come up with a damn good reason as to why you're out here, and you better have it right now. Alright, you've been asking for this from the start, so let's not waste another second. Face me like a man, once and for all. I'll put a hurtin' on you so bad you'll never get in a ring again, Collins. Too many better superstars have been sacrificed at my feet for me to be interrupted by the likes of you. So if you have a point, you better get to it, and you better do it quick, Lesnar. You dug yourself into a very, very deep hole, my friend. The sad thing is, you don't even realize that it's actually a grave. I almost feel sorry for you, Collins. Almost. But not quite. All your talk is just that. Talk. 
You can't wrestle, and everybody here knows it, Blessner. If you try and prove me wrong, you'll just embarrass yourself. So head back to the playpen, little boy. Ooh, wow, things are getting heated up between Lesnar and Collins. So you're standing there spitting words like some angry cobra, but here's the thing. I'm a mongoose, baby, and I'm going to clean you in my jaws and shake you. And when I'm done, you're going to be a bloody mess, and you'll finally quit. Because I will break you, and I will beat you down, and take you to Suplex City. Oh, Collins ain't heard enough of Lesnar. Low blow right there to Brock Lesnar. Jeremy Collins now. What are we going to see here? Oh! Lesnar, oh, shoulder first went Collins, and Lesnar trying to take it to Collins, but Collins from behind, side rushing leg sweep, and a clothesline, and the officials are here trying to hold back the seven foot two giant, but the monster, he wants a piece of Lesnar, and he wants it now. is up for grabs coming up next next oh i cannot wait well up next is our main event ladies and gentlemen for the first time ever here in tcw wrestling we will see the world championship defended or, well, I should say, on the line as we will crown a new TCW World Champion inside Hell in a Cell. It's triple threat action as Brandon Blaze takes on Captain Pepsi and Elias here on TCW. This, ladies and gentlemen, is our main event of the evening. So sit back for the World Championship live in our main event starting right now. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, here he comes. The newly redesigned and uh, more darker evil presence is Brandon Blaze. But nonetheless, here comes the former Thriller NXT heavyweight champion, Brandon Blaze. Making his way to the ring from Mount Everett. The leader of the Blaze family and the Outlaws is here. Brandon Blaze. Remember guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy. With this eerie Tonight, feeling and look, kind of like uh, another superstar that we all know, and that's Bray Wyatt. Brandon Blaze. And a win here would go a long way in 
improving his no longer he he is. sounds like you're doubting him Cole let me tell you something you never want to doubt this wanting guy. to be a uh, fan favorite I mean he's definitely turned heel as of late so I've heard so what in the world are we gonna see from this newly darkened Brandon blaze here tonight Here comes Elias, guitar in hand. Will Elias be your next TCW World Heavyweight Champion? Or will it be Brandon Blaze or Captain Pepsi? We're gonna find out tonight as we crown the first ever TCW World Heavyweight Champion. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. Well, he definitely looks fired up for this one, wouldn't you say, Corey? Yeah, he's definitely ready to get this one underway, Cole. He's not the only one. Would you listen to this crowd? Wow. There is Captain Pepsi. Here we go. Blaze. Pepsi. Elias. Triple Threat. Hell in a Cell. For the Universal World Championship. I know it says Universal. It's supposed to be World. I apologize, guys. But nonetheless, it's the World Heavyweight Championship. Like I said, there's some things I still got to take care of here in TCW, but... I wanted to bring TCW to you guys to make sure you guys understand that I'm still here and still doing 2K action. And hopefully you've all enjoyed. Hopefully you leave a like and a comment. And, uh, and yeah, more TCW will be coming soon. So now sit back, relax, and enjoy Triple Threat action. Because I'm going to leave the commentary booth up to uh, Michael Cole and uh, Byron Saxton and Corey Graves. And uh, thank you guys for taking over for me, and uh, I'll be back when this match is concluded. Enjoy. What must Elias be thinking now? It'll be interesting to see how he plans to get it done. What do you think? The prestige of holding a singles title certainly hasn't been lost. Just look at the ferocity with which these two are competing.
this is a dangerous spot for him to be here in this triple threat match. I hate to say it, but if he doesn't change his game plan soon, these two guys are going to tear him from win. You see more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him.
He's in a tough spot here, Corey. And if he doesn't get up, it's going to get a lot of championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and the brand new first ever TCW World Heavyweight Champion is Captain Pepsi, the former Thriller NXT Champion. Wow, what a win, what a match, and what a victory for Captain Pepsi. Look at this power bomb here into the pin by Brandon Blaze early on. And then Brandon Blaze locked in the points of authority. 
on Captain Pepsi. Captain Pepsi fought hard. Long so did Brandon Blaze and Elias, but ladies and gentlemen, your first ever TCW heavyweight champion is that man right there, Captain Pepsi. And what a celebration here for the captain tonight on TCW Wrestling. That's going to do it for us here on TCW Wrestling. I thank you all for joining me for the first ever episode. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen so far. And more will definitely be coming soon. Thank you. I have been your host, Brandon Pickett. And remember, please go back and watch all of Thriller NXT. So you can kind of get an idea of what TCW is going to be about. Also, don't forget to go watch Devolution, the all-women's show, as more episodes will be coming soon. And remember, keep thrilling and killing, ladies and gentlemen, because Thriller 23O Productions is the place to be. I'm the man. I'm the host. I'm your commentator. I love you all. Have a good night. And thank you. Until next time, Thriller's out.